rainy Saturday afternoon and it is rib crib for lunch. So as you can see, I weighed in at 157.8 this week. I'm not mad at it. It's a pound in one week. It's better than going up a couple pounds. And uh, I think the closer you get to gold, the harder it is. Um, what I've been doing is I do watch my calories. I like to see about where I like to sit and when I'm doing my macros. I don't know if you've seen this before, but I've said that um, I use my fat as a limit and my protein as a goal, um, mainly because I want to get into lifting weights and I am getting older and it's important to get your protein. And I think that also helps with the hair loss. So I'm using my protein as a goal and my fat as a limit. And what else I've done is um, I get about 1300 calories a day and then I will drop down to about 1150 for a day, and then I'll go up to 1200 for a couple days, go back up to 1350. So, um, it's, I, I read up on this and it seems to be helping me. Uh, once I get to the 155, and then I push it back a little bit to 147, like I really, really want to be. I'll see if I continue on that, if it still works. Maybe I might have to tweak some more stuff to trick my body some more. I've been struggling with weight all my life and there's always, you gotta find that balance, especially as you get older. Um, like I said, I've been 320 pounds before. Uh, when I started keto, I was 183 point whatever. So um, yeah, my ultimate goal is that 147, but right now my original goal is the 155. So let me get there a couple pounds, two and a half pounds away I think it is. Yeah, so once I get there, then I'll focus on the 147, so I'll see if I keep doing it or if I have to tweak a little bit more, but I feel comfortable. I feel good about what I'm doing. Um, I'm in a routine. Like I said, if I cheat, what it, my cheat days are actually going over my macros. I don't eat breads or pastas or anything like that. I might eat a little too much Halo Top in a day. <laughs> Maybe that's my cheat because um, I go over my macros on, with Halo Top. And Halo Top isn't the best but it still fits in my macros so it's staying here. Alright well let's see what I eat today. I made my husband breakfast burritos. I use the low carb um, tortillas. I think it's called Carb Smart. It's the six net carbs per, tor per tortilla. Um, I have scrambled eggs and I put a little bit of heavy whipping cream to scramble them up. Habanero cheese, bacon, and red onion. And then he puts um, Tabasco sauce on them. So this is going to be his breakfast. He'll probably like eat only twice today because of how much, <laughs> how big these are. And uh, it'll hold them over for a good while. So I'm about to wrap these up. I thought I'd show you. Um, I'm not going to eat these because I don't eat tortillas because it does have, um, even though it's low carb, it still has gluten in it and I do not eat gluten. But that's okay because I did buy me some more keto pancake mix and I'm going to have some bacon and whip that up and I'll show you what I'm going to eat today. So for my breakfast, I made the keto pancakes. I took the advice of my sister-in-law, Valerie, Andy's wife. I added um, a dash of um, vanilla extract to the mix to give it some flavor. And I also sprinkle cinnamon on top of my butter before I add my um, syrup, my sugar-free syrup in a minute. Um, I do pick this up at Target. It is $6.99. I had to go there anyways because I needed to get more... Natural Bliss half and half for my coffee. I love this stuff. I know I've said it several times before, but great macros. Um, but I also was going to show you, I went to Marshall's because it's right beside Target. 
And they have these insulated bags out now. You know how they always have them for like 99 cents? They're um, reusable bags. Well, now they have the insulated reusable bags that are pretty good size for $2.49. And while I was there, I picked up some coconut um, skinny girl syrup for $3.99. Um, this peanut butter powder I really like. It was on clearance for $5. Uh, so I always check Marshalls and Ross. Um, this came from Ross. Stopped over there as well. Again, the Skinny Girl syrup. Their price is still um, the same price as Marshalls, $3.99. Um, this one, the Caramel Fudge Waffle Cone. And they also had the monk fruit sweetener, the, the packets, and $3.99. Um, they usually have like collagen there and keto creamers and other keto products that sometimes I don't buy, but just saying if you, if you do buy that stuff, you might want to check um, Marshalls and Ross and I think TJ Maxx as well. But yeah, all these bottles, we might have a problem, but... <laughs> My daughter uh, really likes flavor in her coffee um, when she drinks it, and I do sometimes. But anyways, yeah, all these came from Ross or Marshalls. Um, and both places, the, it's, the price is the same. It's $3.99, except for this big bottle, Tarani, um, $5.99 at Marshalls. So, yeah, I might want to give that a check out. So, I am going to drink my coffee, enjoy my pancakes, and I will see you when I go to eat lunch. Now that I opened that Marshall's insulated bag, I'm going to show you how big it exactly is. So it's a pretty good size. I'm going to keep this in the truck for like when I go grocery shopping um, to put my Halo Top or anything in the that goes in the freezer or refrigerator to help keep it nice and cold until I get home. But yeah, you can't beat that price. Lunch slash dinner, I have Johnsonville cheddar beef brats, ballpark brisket beef sea, smokehouse season patties, T-bone steak. I paired mine with broccoli, grass-fed butter, and G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce, sweet and spicy. I'm in love with this stuff. If I eat anything else tonight, it will be one of these things, or we are having them... Um, throughout the week or I'll have some Halo Top but either way I'll let you know and uh, yeah we're gonna enjoy this I figured if I'm we like charcoal so if I'm gonna light the grill I'm gonna cook one, more than one thing so I don't waste the charcoal and all right I'm about to grow So I'm going to sit outside and enjoy the weather and enjoy one of my favorite flavors of Halo Top, the oatmeal cookie. There's the macros on that. And this might wrap up my day. Hope you had a great one. I sure did. So with everybody doing their Dollar Tree hauls, I thought I would give it a shot because I needed to go to Dollar Tree anyways to pick up a couple of things. So I'm going to insert this at the end of my weigh-in and day of eating video. Just I'll do it at the end just in case people that don't want to see that and just are there for my weigh-in and what I eat in a day don't have to watch it. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm going to be going on vacation, my husband and I, for two weeks and my daughter is not going. She's going to stay behind. She's going to work and take care of our dogs. She asked me to pick up paper plates um, because she doesn't want to do dishes. I don't blame her. But So I picked her up some paper plates, the 40 count, and let's see what else coconut cooking spray. I usually always have coconut and avocado cooking spray and I still have probably two cans but I, I've never seen it at the Dollar Tree and it says 20% more than what they used to put in this and I think I usually pay about $2.50 a can so I picked this up. I don't know now. My husband
husband likes to clean his truck and he loves wheel cleaning stuff so I picked him up some of the wheel cleaning wipes it says 16 wipes in there and armor all I mean that's a name brand so I got him that I picked up these cute stickers they're pop-up stickers of um, jungle yeah I think that's what you would say jungle animals uh, I thought it would be cute for when I'm making birthday cards and such for my nephews and kids. I also seen these collared scented uh, felt pens. They have aroma. Uh, it says aromatherapy, so they have essential oils in it. Um, I've never seen these before, and I was like, let me try those. So I picked me up a pack of these. I bought and uh, bought and is that it? I have bought other tea towels from the Dollar Tree that said other things on it. Like, I'm sorry for what I said to you when I was hungry and um, whip it good or something like that. They say kind of fun, cute things, but I've seen the roll with the one and I didn't pick it up last time I was there, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up this time when I was there. I like the thinness of them. Um, like I said, it is a tea towel, not a dish towel, so they are pretty thin, but I think they're cute. Um, I am doing a, uh, Christmas every month for a year for some family members. So they get to open a Christmas gift every month on the 25th. And I'm not going to say their names in case they're watching, but there's a couple of them I'm doing it for. And I picked up different things for that. And I won't say what those things are going to be for, but if I don't, you know, you kind of get the gist. So they might be getting someone likes to do these jumbo word finds so i picked up two of these i like that they're they're the kinds that like flip they don't you know turn like a book that they flip up uh so picked up two of these you see a lot of people have been hauling these the dishwasher cleaners um, i do have some dishwasher cleaner left but i, I think i'm running low and it needs, mine needs clean. So I'm gonna try these out today, later on. They had these um, NFL field towels with the digital camouflage, the Wilson. And again, these might end up in some Christmas gifts. So I picked up two of these. Some disposable gloves because I hate when I make meatloaf and I have to mix everything together with my hand, I hate that filling on my hands. So I picked these up. I'm gonna hopefully these will stay on my hands when I'm mixing it. That's what I'm hoping for because I think that's so gross. Um, toilet bleach tablets. The four pack of the little notepads. I got the what would you call um. I don't know what it's called, the woodland animals. So the be brave bear, and then on the other one it's be clever and it's a fox. I don't know what the other two inside of there says yet because I haven't opened it, but um, crocheting, I like to use these when I'm um, for a pattern to check off my rows and then I write the name of the pattern up top because sometimes I have more than one project going on at a time and uh, these are just great to be able to keep track of everything. So I picked up myself a pack of these. Some scotch tape because I have already started wrapping Christmas gifts. You're probably looking at me crazy. I would look at me crazy. But I'm going to Ohio soon and I'm going to take some Christmas gifts that I've already bought and with me. There I'm saying bought again. Is that even right? Some that I've already bought with me so that I don't have to pay for shipping later on. So I picked that up. It is grill season. I'm about to light up the grill today. So I picked up an extra long lighter. Needed, um, they don't last very long, I don't think. Or maybe I just use them a lot for candles and such. So I needed another one. My dogs, the rib bones. I usually get them the pig ears at Walmart for like 250. So I got like two, four dollars. So if they like these, I will be getting them at the Dollar Tree from now on and save me some money. My husband likes pistachios, so I picked up these sweet 
chili. I don't think he's ever tried these before. So got these for him to try out. Shakespeare Not Stirred. It's a book of cocktails for your everyday dramas. <laughs> and this is gonna be going into someone's gift as well that likes to make cocktails and mixed drinks. Drinks, I can't talk today. Mixed drinks. I picked up these camo curé band-aids. Uh, my son will be coming to visit soon and he's in the army and he does get cut a lot. And I'm gonna give him these just in case or he's gonna think I'm really cheesy and take them anyways, but I think he'll use them. So I picked him up these. And my husband likes to wear crazy socks. Um, he finds it funny like if he is scratching his leg and he pulls up his pants leg or something and someone sees his socks, the kind of looks he'll get. So I think he likes to play around with people. We got the grill ones they had there. They had like steak and a spatula and barbecue sauce, flames, cute for summer, um, cheeseburger. Picked some of these and I actually like these the most, the popcorn. So he has tons of funny, fun socks and I thought these were kind of different. So I picked him up those. And that is it, that's all I got from the Dollar Tree this time. Um, yeah, so it was fun, I've never done this before and uh, maybe I'll do it again, just always insert it at the end of my weigh-in or what I eat in a day keto videos in case someone isn't really interested in this stuff and they are only at the, our channel for the keto stuff so anyways I'm having a great day it's a nice day out I'm gonna go start the grill so I can eat I'll catch you later